rolling. We rolling. All right, uh, shalom for the Hebrew Israelites. All right, we're um, at the Great Millstone Philadelphia camp. We're out here another week um, to prophesy the destruction of Babylon, to wake up the uh, one third of the uh, so the people in this sign, the uh, people of so-called uh, uh, Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, and to tell them their heritage, and to tell them to come back to their, uh, their power, which is uh, Yahweh, and uh, his son, which is Yahweh Shai. And um, basically, uh, basically, uh, you know, our purpose is to, uh, is to persuade our people through uh, the words that are in the scriptures. So that's why we come out here and use the Bible. We don't use uh, any any other book. The only time we might use books is to basically prove uh, the, the uh, things that are in the Bible. All right. Uh, Nephilim, Nehemiah eight verse eight. So they read in the book and the law of the Most High distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. Yeah, so that's why we're out here. We're reading out the scriptures and we're, uh, we're, we're uh, exhorting our people to uh, come back to the Most High. Right? Uh, Zephaniah 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Yeah, and that's what, that's, that's what we're trying to gather. The, uh, the, uh, each of the 12 tribes, from Judah on down to Ishakar. We're, uh, we're gathering them together because they're they're a nation uh, not desired. Like like um, basically uh, everybody everybody hates us. They look down on us and stuff like that. But really, uh, the only reason why we're in this position is because we we uh, sinned against the heavenly Father, and He's basically uh, chastening us for a short time. And uh, once this period of chastening is over with, then uh, He's going to set up the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be an uh, uh, everlasting kingdom. All right? Can you give me a uh, it says, gather yourself together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the, 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 the day pass as chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Yeah, and that's what that's that's one of the things that we um we're, we're telling our we're telling our people about. Is um martial law is coming. It's, uh, it's martial law. It's coming soon to uh, America and stuff like that. And every, every, uh, you know, every day, every week is more, you know, it's uh, incrementing itself uh, to, into becoming more of a reality and stuff. And that's what that's what we're out here to tell our people because our people, uh, you know, we don't have all day basically to come back to the Most High. So, like the Scripture says, um, you know, in uh, Ecclesiastes 12 chapter, uh, remember now that Creator in the days that I use. So once we get this information, once you know your heritage, once you know who you are, once you know what your uh, duty and responsibility is, you know, you're supposed to learn, uh, get yourself grounded, firmly grounded in the word, and you're supposed to uh, come back to the most high and come out to the highways and byways and preach his word. It says, before the first anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord, Lord's anger come upon you, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have worked his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Yeah, because uh, meek basically represents the Israelites, but the hum uh, we're supposed to be like humble in this thing and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just like it says in James, um, basically, you know, the Most High, he only he, uh, he gives grace to the humble. And that's the only people that's going to be able to receive his word because the majority of our people are proud. They don't, they, uh, you know, they can't, you know, they, they're totally, uh, you know, uh, in another reality, so they're not gonna, they're not gonna, uh, they're not gonna, uh, they don't have fear of the Most High. That's one of the, the main things or the foundation things that you need in this truth is to have uh, fear of the Lord. It's like something that, uh, you know, makes you, um, um, you know, with the law for, you know, um, transgress the laws come with shame and stuff like that. But our people, you know what I mean? We can tell them what they're doing is wrong and stuff, but they're not going to have fear of the Lord. And only, um, you know, that's like a gift that the Most High gives to you. Because the majority of these people, they don't, they don't have fear of the Lord. So when uh, the day of doom, the day of the Lord comes, it's going to, uh, it's going to uh, take them out. And that's why, you know, we had uh, the third sign, which represents the, uh, the pie chart and destruction of the Israelites, that's why it's only going to be one third, and one third is a, like a, a minute minority out of the hundred percent of Israelites on the planet or whatever. And those two thirds are going to be the ones that uh, those two thirds are going to be the ones that uh, get destroyed and stuff like that. And that you see, that's the majority. So that's why we're not out here to save 
uh, 100% of the Israelites, like those other groups that said, I want to save, you know, black people, they want to save the community and stuff like that. And it's only going to be, it's only going to be one third of um, our people that's going to be uh, delivered and stuff like that. Other people, they're going to be, they're going to be uh, destroyed and stuff like that. Yeah, I wanted to say something. Now the two thirds, the way, the way that works out in percentage is at 66.6%, .6%, all right? So like the brother said, that's the majority of the nation of Israel that's gonna have to be destroyed. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor, <clears throat> excuse me, of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Mm. Yeah, so basically, I mean, to summarize what we just said, that's telling us that, uh, you know, we need to, uh, you know, wake out of sleep. Like, you know, um, like before we came into this, you know what I mean? We was like niggas in the world, like uh, not conscious, not aware of who we are and all this. And um, when we find out, when we find out who we are, we're, uh, we're supposed to be transformed by, you know, by the renewing of our mind and stuff. And um, we're not supposed to be conduct ourselves like how we did in the world or how, you know, you see these people, you know, going to, uh, you know, just, just partying, like they don't care, like, uh, you know, like, like, like how the rappers be on the videos and all that stuff like that. They, they're not, uh, you know, godly men and stuff like that. So we're not supposed to be conducting ourselves like that. This is Ephesians chapter four. Verse 17, this I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yeah, so like the word, uh, the word Gentile is basically about, um, meaning like uh, 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 in certain contexts, it means like an Israelite who didn't know who they were and stuff like that. Just like during the times of the uh, the Hellenist period and the Greeks and stuff, where people didn't know who they were and stuff like that. Well, basically, um, you know, we're we're in captivity in America, and this is like the same, um, you know, reoccurring theme and stuff like that. So um, we gotta once we figure out who we are, we're Israelites and stuff like that. We gotta conduct ourselves according to godly men who fear the most high God. and we gotta uh you know turn away from you know uh, babylon babylon meaning uh all confusion and stuff this whole society is basically confusion and stuff like that like um <clears throat> you know every every uh aspect of it and stuff like that like even you know what i mean on the way up here you know we was talking about like black history month and all that stuff like that and that's like a, a hellenistic thing kind of too because um you know like all um like you know we're not we, we gotta remember like we're not um you know we're not uh, uh, Africans and we're not, um, you know, Americans and stuff like that. And like, you know, the whole, that, all that, that whole concept is like confusion and stuff like that. Like they don't, they don't teach us, um, you know, who we are and stuff like that. That's, that's not, um, you know, who we are and stuff like that. And we need to um, come back to who we are as uh, evil Israelites. Khan, like, like just to elaborate more on what the brother's saying, just the title in itself, you can tell it's, is, is completely wrong. They label it Black History Month instead of Israelite History Month. And then if they had the proper, you know, properly put up the title, okay, about Israelites, they'd have to go into what? The scriptures. And if they had to go into the scriptures, then they had to start proving things out the, out the scriptures, like the real color of the Lord and who the Israelites really are according to the scriptures. So they're not going to do that. They lead our people astray and they teach them about leaders that done sold out, that let our people write into uh, 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 a, a, a spiritual sleep, or rather a, a, a deep sleep, man. You know, and believing, oh, you know, it's all about, you know, uh, uh, having black rights in America, you know, or having equal opportunity in America, you know. 
And it, it goes a lot deeper than just that. It goes a lot deeper than just uh, 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 you know saying oh you know black power and all that. You know that's another thing a lot of our people are into. You know, but they gotta understand the basics of the scriptures. You know where all this tension rises from, why we're on the bottom, why the so-called white man's on top, and then what the future holds for us as Israelites. They're not gonna go into that depth. If you know where you're going, you gotta know the past. I mean, when, like for me, when I first, you know, learned about this, one of the first uh, fundamental things you gotta understand is like, like the brother was saying, is uh, you some fucking witches, man. They witches. Yeah, you find that so fucking funny. What? Or like, uh, what's your, what's your, what's your? you don't even have a uh, so-called Hispanic month and that's the same thing. You know, they, by, by celebrating this and pushing that vibration, it's keeping the majority of Israelites confused and blindsided about who they really are according to the Bible. A lot of our people, like the scriptures say, they got a zeal, you know? Like, we were coming past, uh, getting ready to set up for camp, and these devils out here set up a little post talking about the truth about the Catholic Church. Well, the truth about the Catholic Church is they like popping little boys. That's the truth about the Catholic Church. You know? And then they got Cesare, a picture of fucking Cesare up there. It's the same old shit. And our people still, it's 2014, Things are gone awry. The devil's being taken out of power. World War III is brewing in the Middle East. And they're still fucking confused. Not understanding what's going on. Still believing that America has a future, or that they have a future in America. You know? So we're here to set the record straight through the spirit according to the scriptures of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shaddai. Uh, Amos 6 verse 1 Woe to them that are at ease in Zion And trust in the mountain of Samaria Yeah, cause um <clears throat> People that are at ease in Zion Zion, uh, Zion mean uh, to, to Zion want monument That's referring to our people And um, our people are at ease in America And stuff like that they, You know, like just like we was talking about on the way up here You know, they're they're thinking about, you know, cashing their income tax check, like, like making, you know, what they're going to buy with it and stuff like that. When, uh, <clears throat> you know, all these the prophecies are speeding up, they're, they're coming to the pass quicker. You know, just because, um, you know, your money's not going to save you. America's inevitably going to be uh, destroyed and stuff like that. So you need to be getting yourselves in order and uh, coming back to the Most High while there's still time before this uh, event happens and stuff like that. There's no, there's no way... <clears throat> There's no way our people are going to be able to uh, escape from this, but to come back to the most high. Well, to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of, of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came. Yeah, Samaria, the, uh, Samaria represents the, um, uh, uh, America, basically. You know, this is where we came, America. This is where the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is like cap I mean, captive in the reservations and the burials and the ghettos and stuff. And basically, where uh, <clears throat> our people, they, they trust in America. They trust that, you know, uh, Barack Obama is going to save them and stuff like that. But he's only, he's only you know, putting a, a, another nail in your coffin. He's only set up by the elites to bring all this stuff, you know, the past. He's, he's set up to bring, um, um, you know, Basically, America, they're doing the same thing, you know, that the Roman Empire did. When the Roman Empire, they set up, like, military uh, bases and all the, like, surrounding lands and all that stuff like that. And, uh, you know, basically, um, um, you know, the powers, like, say, for instance, like, Russia. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, and then, like, for, for example, it says um, all the options are on the table. And, you know, they're, they're coming to Iran and stuff like that. That's going to be their, their next um, thing. Iran, Syria, and stuff like that. And I, we was talking about in the way, on the car up here how basically uh, they, they're going to try. They, there was an article that was talking about how, they, how they're going to try and use a uh, vent and say that some, like, terrorists from uh, Iran or Syria used, um, what is it, uh, hackers cyber, and stuff? Uh, yeah, cyber. Yeah, cyber terrorism to basically mess with uh, America's, like, banking system and stuff like that. And that could potentially, uh, you know, be like their false flag event. You know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 
with some terrorist attack but you know rationale for basically trying to go and attack uh, Iran and Syria and stuff like that and um basically um let me see yeah I mean I, basically Obama's you know set up to pass these wicked decrees like the gay marriage to uh to pass executive orders to further uh you know push the martial law and stuff like that um let me see yeah, you know, the GMOs, the uh, the surveillance system and stuff like that. These government-sponsored uh, protests? Yeah, the government-sponsored uh, protests and stuff like that. That's set up by the government to, uh, to be like, almost like drills and stuff for the martial law. So that, uh, so that the, uh, the uh, military or the police that they're, the police that they're turning into the military can basically, uh, you know, train and stuff on how to deal with um, crowd, you know, um, uh, civil disobedience and stuff like that. Yeah, get citizens used to it. This is yeah. the, it's like, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. this is the, since the brother mentioned decrees, yeah, and like the brothers, the brothers right on point, man. Barack Obama ain't nothing but a puppy. You know, he's just there to smooth things over and sell things to the people and let them believe that what Obama's saying is what's for the good of the country. But rely, what relies, or what is really behind all that bullshit and lying and deceiting that he's doing every time he stands up on the podium, all right, is casting spells for what's really to come, which is the martial law, concentration camps, and shit. So Obama's just there to so-called smooth things over so that when the people get angry there's a scapegoat you know when things go awry who are they looking at they ain't looking at the Rothschilds or the bankers for being responsible for the for the debt of this country or for the economic collapse of this country they're looking at who that fucking bitch ass Obama this is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1 Warn to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will you flee for help and where will you leave your glory? Yeah, so basically, uh, basically that that fits, you know, Obama and the, uh, the um, international bankers to a T and stuff like that. They they try and push forth, you know, these laws and stuff like that. Like for example, uh, you know, um, do do as I will and stuff like that. They pass these laws because there's nowhere in the Bible that it say you can, um, you know, set up laws to where you know uh, you can have gay rights and all this stuff like that. And I mean, it's getting, um, you know, like getting like worse and worse and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, yeah, the exact, like Executive Order 13603, which says basically in a time of martial law, they could basically, you know, take control of um, private transportation. They can take control of all, like, energy sources. Yeah. They could, uh, you know, basically whatever, you know, skill. Organize the work brigades. Yeah, yeah, work and stuff, like, basically, like, make, like, slave labor and stuff like that. And, I mean, this stuff is, like, coming and stuff. It's already in, you know, uh, uh, pol it's already in um, the books and all this. So all they got to do is just stamp it in, in this um, policy and stuff like that. And our people totally don't even uh, are unaware of that stuff. You know, they're into, uh, you know, any vain thing that basically the society, you know, they put on TV and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, like here, if you... Paint the camera right here. This is some of the executive orders that uh, Obama set up and stuff like that. Like even the UN Arms Trade uh, Treaty and stuff like that. They're trying to basically take away the people's guns. So the, uh, they're taking away the people's guns, but then the Department of Homeland Security and all the uh, you know um, government or private uh, uh, agencies and stuff are buying ammunition. They're buying hollow point ammunition. They're buying. Uh, you know, like the rounds that NATO uh, uses instead of, was it 222, 2, 220, what was it, 2, 223 caliber, some, some, some rifle ammo that they're using. But that basically, that's what the UN and stuff uses and stuff like that. So they're, they're getting, um, you know, um, mine resistant armor vehicles, drones, they're getting, uh, you know, uh, all that armor, all that stuff, all the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Military uh, equipment? Yeah, yeah, military equipment, uh, um, you know, equipped like uh, non-lethal or lethal, basically, you know, um, 
uh, you know, weapons and stuff to use against people in times of like protests and stuff like that. Sound, sound, sound cannons? Yeah, sound cannons, uh, like almost like shotguns that basically are like uh, rubber bullets. Yeah, rubber Those bullets and stuff like that. They got, the, they got the, the hose too with the water. Yep. Fucking them, them power hoses, man. Yep, they get that from the riots in the 60s. Man. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say one thing. Uh, at work yesterday, I went and got some water, and the water turned pink right inside the fucking cup. It was turning pink, and I showed all my coworkers, like, what the fuck is going on, man? It's real poison. Who's talking about the fracking and stuff? Uh, I don't know. I went uh, to the bar. I went to the bar to grab, like, some water and ice, and the shit just straight up turned pink. Straight up. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like, not only are they polluting the foods with GMOs, is uh, the fracking. Like, I didn't really realize how like bad it was. But basically, you know the uh, the uh, you know how they're always talking about natural gas and all this stuff like that. But basically, they shoot chemical. What fracking is? They shoot chemicals into the ground, and those um those chemicals, uh, basically, you know, they shoot the chemicals in the ground to like break up the. Uh, the layers, you know, so that they can, but basically what it does, the chemicals get into the water supply, so it like poisons the water, and so that's why, like in this video, the brother from Virginia sent me where they got put a lighter up to the uh, tap water and it like lit on fire, and so that's how toxic the water is and stuff like that, you know what I mean, on top of the, you know, the GMOs and the Roundup and all that stuff that they polluting the food with, they, they're polluting the water and stuff also, so that's, that's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's important and stuff, and even, you know what I mean? Like the people that be protesting about this stuff, they be trying to lock them up and all this stuff like that. Like that Snowden thing, I always use that example, but like that shows you like the level that they're gonna go to to, uh, to basically, you know, uh, persecute the people that's, that's uh, you know, exposing, you know, lifting up Esau's skirt and the, the uh, agenda of the uh, uh, international bankers and stuff like that. They're gonna, they're gonna, uh, uh, you know, even the uh, internment camps and all that stuff like that. Like, uh, but not only are they gonna, you know, like that Snowden thing, I mean, you're, you're like when he all hell breaks, you're not gonna be able to uh, go to another country and stuff like that. They just gonna be rounding people up, shooting people out and stuff like that. That's not this is uh, Nahum. Nahum chapter three, verse one. Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Yeah, like lie, like, uh, it says it is uh, woe to the bloody city. The bloody city is uh, referring to America. It says it's full of uh, lies and robbers, like lying like about who the Israelites are, the true history of the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and um, you know the robbery, like uh, bringing us over here on cargo slave ships, slaughtering up the, uh, the indigenous people, the so-called uh, uh, Latinos and Native Americans still in their land, uh, committing genocide on them. Uh, um, you know, uh, all the uh, all the warfare methods and stuff they, they use to basically um, take them down and stuff. It says the noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen, the horsemen lifted up the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. Like even like say like during the times of the native the so-called Native Americans and stuff like that were, were uh, prevalent and stuff like that. He saw the so-called white man, he killed over like a hundred uh, million Native Americans and stuff. This whole every all these buildings you see, all this land and stuff like that, it was occupied by the uh, the Israelites, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of uh Ishakar, the tribe of um, you know, all the all the tribes and stuff that was occupied in North Central and South America, basically uh, they was here in this land. So every time you, you know you look um, in America, you look around. This is all the Gadites land, the, uh, the uh, Israelites land, and stuff. The so-called white man stole all this land. Every time you see a so-called white person walking around on this land, you know that uh, he he's not innocent. So that he stole all this land. He stole everything that they have uh, right now. They stole it. So that's why we call him the devil. That's why we we uh, curse him. That's why we um, we uh, you know we reveal him and stuff like that. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mischief, the mistress of witchcraft, that sell of nations through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcrafts. Yeah, I mean, like, like, uh, uh, you know, just so like, true. for example, I was talking about the gay marriage, and so now, you know, I mean, America, 
they passed all the laws and then now they're trying to push that agenda on all the uh, other countries and stuff like that. That's why I like, uh, was it like France or somewhere, somewhere, yeah, I don't know about it. But, but other countries, you know what I mean, they, they pass um, laws where you can have like gay marriage and stuff like that and that's not according to the scriptures and stuff like that. He says, Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. Yeah, so it says um, the most high is against the marriage. The most high is against the so-called white man. And so he's going to reveal, he's going to reveal them. And that's why we're out here uh, reading the scriptures, bringing out the news, the current events, and all this stuff. We're, we're exposing his uh, wickedness and stuff like that. It says, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. Yeah, so the Most High is revealing um, the so-called white man and all his um, wickedness to the, the other nations and stuff like that. Even other nations is bringing out the wickedness on the white. Like, say for instance, like RT, Russia Today, which we, uh, we we watch that a lot. Like, they be revealing, like, they had this, uh, this, um, this uh, episode, it was probably one of the best episodes I ever saw where it was talking about the so-called, uh, you know, uh, indigenous people that was in America and all the wickedness and stuff they did. Like, I, I was kind of like shocked at all the stuff they was bringing out and stuff like that. And this is, this is, uh, that's an example of uh, the nations, the other nations bringing out the wickedness of America. And, stuff. and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy, thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. Yeah, because I mean uh, other nations they look at America like they're uh like they're uh like they're like they're wicked and stuff like that. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and set thee as a gazing stock. Yeah, cause that all the, I mean the other nations they don't um they, they don't look at America the way Americans think that uh Americans look at and stuff like that. People like look down on America and stuff like that. They make jokes about America. America's like a byword. And it shall come to pass that all that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bohem her? When shall I seek comforters for thee? Yeah, and like all you know, the people that came here from the other countries like India, China, Japan, uh, etc., they're uh, they're gonna they're leaving America. They're gonna start leaving America even more because there's no uh, America. They can see that uh, America's not this uh, golden city anymore and stuff. Uh, Isaiah 19 verse one. The burn of e the burn of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Let me read it again. The, uh, the, the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. That's basically the coming of the house shot. Okay, the swift cloud represents, represents the chariots of Israel. Says and so coming to Egypt, Egypt is America, and Egypt symbolizes uh bondage. See, we work in which means bondage. What are you looking at? It says, and the idols of Egypt shall move at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So when the Lord comes back, the, the, the spirit of Egypt is gonna melt. Okay, and it's already melting, it's, it's already devoid of, of morals. You know, you got uh you got a, a blurred line system where people don't know what the hell is right or wrong or up, like up or up. Up and down, okay? These people are being, being, uh, being uh, normalized by wickedness. You know, they accept anything that's wicked, like homosexuality. They think this is okay. You know, and, they, and, they, and they're against someone who's against who's against homosexuals. Okay? That's why the Lord said it's, it's going to make a worse spirit in the land of Egypt. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Like you got uh, seditions among the governments in this uh, country. Uh, Texas, they want to secede. In other, in other countries, they want to secede from America. And the uh, scriptures also say uh, if Satan will be against his, his own. Uh, his, his Kingdom divided against yeah, yeah, yeah. the And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. 
And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight one against his brothers. So it's going to be a civil war here in America, and also a race riot. And every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to, 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 the, to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over in, into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, save the Lord of hosts. Thirteen or nine. This is uh, Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah forty-seven, verse one. Come down and sit in the 